This is Friday Night SmackDown on Fox, sponsored by Progressive Insurance. Save when you bundle auto, home, or motorcycle insurance. We are prepared for another Queen of the Ring first round matchup as the EST Bianca Belair goes one on one with Candice LeRae. Wade, if you're Bianca Belair, you're coming off a of backlash, just capturing the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships. How hard is it to focus on the next task at hand, being the Queen of the Ring tournament? Yeah, it can be difficult, but when you've just watched your tag team partner, Jay Cargill, move through to the semi final, you're not about to be outdone, are you? You have to at least match what your tag partner is doing, otherwise, someone might might infer that you are the weak link. So I think the motivation is certainly there for Belair. That's a scary thought. Jade Cargill and Bianca Belair constantly pushing one another as they dominate together. That's a game changer. Tyler. And look at this! Swinging Larray like a Louisville slugger. Well, that is one of the brilliant things about Bianca Belair over the past few years, that insatiable hunger she has to keep on achieving more. Oh, wait a minute. Hartwell from the outside. Nasty cheap shot to the back of the left knee there. Inside cradle attempt by Larea. We've seen recently on Monday Night Raw that Indy has sort of adopted Candice Larea's mentality as it comes to, oh, win at any cost. Yeah, and I like that from Larea and Indy Hartwell. They haven't been happy with where their careers have Ooh. been going, so you've got to change something. Embrace the dark arts if you have to. EST fighting through the pain. You can see her lift just slightly after the skip up and now Larray again a tenacious competitor years of experience prior to her WWE arrival oh. and, and again the knee of Belair could play a factor in this one and wisely Larray takes advantage I mean the tactics are clear from Larray and indeed Hartwell cover hook of the leg it was a mission from the beginning to attack that left knee of Belair and it was initiated it was it was the initial attack, a blindside attack from Indy Hartwell on the outside that softened up Belair, and then it was that instinctive backflip off the top row. We've seen Belair do it thousands of times, but now a catastrophic occurrence has happened in that left. Well, essentially catastrophic, no doubt. You've got somebody who's relatively well-versed in submissions like Candice LeRae. The EST in jeopardy in the WWE Universe doing their best to rally behind Belair who's still on one leg is stronger than almost everyone walking the earth. My God, is she powerful. Trying to shake some movement into that knee. It's easier said than done. Any doctor will tell you that. Some injuries you can't simply just shake off. And look at this, the adrenaline clearly pulsing through Belair, and again, Candace attacking the knee. And you might not like it, but this is called a tactical masterclass by Candice LeRae. You're absolutely right about that. Can LeRae advance to the next round? Oh, my! This ends now. K.O.D. Hook of the leg. Belair is going to the next round. The adrenaline kicked in, and the EST punched her ticket to the next round of the Queen of the Ring Tournament. Semi-finals starting to take shape. Now just one spot left. One half of the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, potentially the next Queen of the Ring. Bianca Belair no doubt living up to the billing as the first overall pick in this year's 2024 draft. But Wade, do you know who wasn't content with their draft position? 